Hello everyone, my name is Ralph Whitman. We are the, uh, the inventor and the creator of the diamond roof. Uh, today we're going to discuss the maintenance of the diamond roof. You have purchased a optimal tool. It is a very, very uh, long lasting tool, very effective and very safe tool. What I'd like to cover today is how to keep that tool working optimally for you uh, because it's all in the maintenance. Uh, um, unlike other tools that have to be replaced on a continual basis, this tool does not. As long as you clean the tool and as long as you use the tool in accordance to the way the tool was designed. So uh, my camera person is going to step up here and we're going to pan the table of all the tools that you need basically to go ahead and clean this tool. This is obviously the diamond groove with all the nail residual in it. This here is a prototype. This is our Diamond Clean product. Uh, we put some coloring in it to help it so you can see what's going on here today. A very soft brass bristle brush. This soft brass bristle brush, uh, we looked high and low to try and find a very soft one because we do not want a harsh steel brush or a harsh brass brush. Uh, soft nylon will not work either. This works very, very optimal and you can see how soft it is. This is available for purchase at a very reasonable price from us because I encourage everybody to use these. And obviously we have a Dremel tool right here. So the process is there's two ways that we can go ahead and clean this tool. One being the brush method and the other method is doing a sonic cleaner. And I think he panned over here to see whether a sonic cleaner, you can see the Diamond Clean product is in the inside. I'm going to go over the brass brush method first. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and hold the, dime, uh, the, the Dremel tool so the diamond groove is facing down. We never want to clean it when it's facing upward because all the liquid that we're going to apply will run into the unit. We don't want that. We want the liquid to run away from the unit. So we're going to do a squirt, 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 squirt. There we go. We're done with the diamond clean. We're going to set that down. Brass bristle brush, very, I need some water, dribble some water please. This is our imaginary sink, okay, so we got enough water. Water actually acts of, activates the Diamond Clean, and so we've got this, and so we're all done. Now we're going to rinse the tool off, and we can still use the brush during the rinse process. Okay, so now that's all done, the brush goes away, and we're going to toss everything back into the imaginary sink. Now what we're going to do is take our terry towel, which is a standard bath towel. We are going to daub it off. We're going to press against the tool and then we're going to blow through the holes and then dry the tool. Why do we blow through the hole at the inside? It gets the water out of the inside of the tool and inside of the, to the holes and the air holes in the back. If you leave water in the inside, this diamond groove will rust. You do not want it to rust. Um, basically, I showed you with, uh, this process and you noted that the tool is not moving. We do not want the, the Dremel tool in the on position. If you do do it in the on position, it will destroy your brush and it will not clean your tool, your diamond groove, very effectively. That is a, you don't, you don't want to do that. So right now, it's about a 20 second process to go ahead and clean this tool, this method. I'm going to show you a different method as well. The other method is the sonic cleaner. Uh, basically, the tool needs to be off the Dremel. We've taken the tool off the Dremel here, and as you can see, it's got nail residual on here. Now, the amount of Dymaclean that I put in the bottom of this container down here uh, is, is just enough to where I put the tool in, the liquid should come up to about here. Gotcha? And so we're going to set that in there and we're going to turn that thing on and you can't see it in action. But I want you to note that the, the liquid does not go inside the threaded area of the tool. You do not want the liquid into the threaded area of the tool. Very, very important because if you get water inside the threaded area, almost impossible to get the water out of there and thus you're going to end up with rust. You don't want rust. After all, this is a, this is a steel tool with the diamond electroplating. Uh, the so you leave it in there for about two minutes and when you take it out We're going to imagine that we've turned this machine on. Okay, you take it out You roll it in the terry towel right here and again 
blow through the hole aggressively, wipe it off again, and you got yourself a brand new tool.